happens, the absolute value of 5x plus 7, all over the absolute value of 10x plus 15, that this is actually less than epsilon. Okay? So we're nearly there, okay? though we've still got a little bit of work to do. We're nearly there. We've, got, we've reduced the conclusion down into something that looks similar to the premise. We have the x minus 1 there. Uh, but we have these two, we have a little bit of baggage. We have the 5x plus 7, the absolute value of 5x plus 7, and 10x plus 15 just hanging around there. Okay? Now, we could argue here that x minus 1 is less than uh, 10x plus 15, the absolute value of 10x plus 15 divided by the absolute value of 5x plus 7 times epsilon. We could argue that fact, but we need to get, we need to find an appropriate delta that's just in terms of either either a whole number, or just in terms of, of a, 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 a real number uh, or a real number uh, and epsilon. We don't want any x values in there. Okay? So let's restrict, let's see what happens to five. We want to figure out what's happening to 5x plus 7 and 10x plus 15 around, around this particular, around where our limit is tending to. So let's just restrict x minus 1 to be less than 1. Yeah. So let's restrict okay, uh, x minus 1 to be less than 1. And let's see what we get. Let's see, can we figure out what, what's happening to 5x plus 7? Okay. So... Therefore, we have that minus 1 must be less than x minus 1, which must be less than 1. Okay? Now, I'm looking for 5x plus 7. Let's multiply across here by 5. So this implies then that minus 5 is less than 5x minus 5 is less than 5. Multiplying right across by 5. Yeah? Now, I need a plus 7 in here. So what do I add on to minus 5 to give me a positive 7? Well, if I add on a positive 12, so this implies... That minus 5 plus 12 is less than 5x plus 7, which is less than 5 plus 12, which implies that we have here, we have that 7 is less than 5x plus 7, which is less than, which is less than, in this case, it's less than 17, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay. So if I add on 12 to minus 5, that gives me the plus 7. Adding on 12 here, that gives me the 7. Adding on 12 here gives me the 17. So what we've really done here is that we've actually bounded. <coughs> we've bounded 5x plus 7. We've bounded it above and we've bounded it below. Okay? Uh, when we consider, let's say when we consider what happens to 10x plus 15. Okay? So once again, uh, let's say from, from the restriction that x minus 1, that the absolute value of x minus 1 is less than 1. Uh, therefore, we have uh, that minus 1 is less than x minus 1, which is less than 1. Now, we need to get 10x plus 15. If we multiply across by 10, so this implies that minus 10 times 10x minus 10 is less than 10. Okay? We need a plus 15 in here. So if we add 25, so this implies that minus 10 plus 25 is less than 10x plus 15, which is less than 10 plus 25. Okay? which implies uh, that 15 is less than 10x plus 15, which is less than 45. So now we've bounded. We know what's happening with 10x plus 15. So now we've bounded, clearly bounded, 10x plus 15 above by 25 and below by 15. And similarly here, we've bounded 5x plus 7 above by 17 and below by 7. So let's go back now to this to this. Uh, to this inequality and let's see can we work out what's happening with this with the left hand side of the inequality okay so once again let's consider so let's consider let me just actually bring this across here whoops okay so let's I'll just fold this over so I can use it again okay so we're just going to consider this particular inequality here again this here okay so we're going to consider Consider, consider uh, the absolute value of x minus 1 times the absolute value of 5x plus 7 all over 10x plus 15. Okay? Now, <clears throat> we're considering this less than epsilon. So let's think about it. Okay? So let's just think about x minus 1. So the absolute value of x minus 1 times the absolute value of 5x plus 7. Okay? This is definitely... Okay, this is definitely less than the absolute value of x minus 1 times, have we got a number that's bigger than 5x plus 7? We do, okay? 
we have a number that's bigger than 5x plus 7. It's actually 17, okay? So if we multiply this here by 17, okay, we know that 17 is bigger. 17 is bigger than 5x plus 7. So that means that x minus 1, the absolute value of x minus 1 times 5x plus 7 must be less than x minus 1 times 17, okay? So what else can we do? Okay, well, to keep the inequality, okay, 